Hey guys, what's going on? This is the Procreate process for a piece I called Grandson Flames. Now, when I started out this this piece, I kind of had a project in mind, kind of. I wanted to create grandsons for one of my original characters. Um, he has He's had various kind of children. Well, I wanted to create sons. I wanted to create offspring for this character. He's, he's had various children across the cosmos. And this is one of the grandson characters. Um, I'm very into power levels and power scaling and that kind of nerdy stuff. And this guy, you know, his his power level is closer to that of like a a, a fighting game character. Um, I was very inspired by Liu Kang when I started drawing this guy. Um, so that's why he's kind of like, he has the headband and stuff. You know, but it was, it was... Um, an interesting because I haven't really done many characters that do elemental stuff, so I thought yeah, it'll be cool to kind of put some fire in there. You know, by the time I got to the end, as you can see in the sketch, there's no fire whatsoever, there's just kind of like a hand gesture, and you know, and his body's kind of his anatomy's out and stuff, and he has a headband, but there's no there's no flames or anything like that. And it, it was, it was a it was just a decision at the end. It was like, yeah, man, I'm gonna put some fire in there. We're gonna we're gonna change up the lighting scenario a little bit, and we're just gonna see what we can get. So here I am, kind of like you know, getting rid of that anatomy and putting in his his vest, kind of or his kind of like vest armament, which is kind of like an active part of his outfit. Which I was, you know, I was quite proud of these outfits. I'm not saying I did a really great job, but everything, you know, everything here is just on the fly. Nothing was was planned. It was all, let's just go in and just try and quickly do a character design and quickly have an idea of, of a character we're going to go with. I didn't get to do his his um, legs, though, which is strange, but it it, it, it is what it is. Um, you know, in the end, I'll probably end up doing a full kind of character, kind of like sheets for these if I ever do go anywhere with them. But it was interesting to just go through the process and kind of be like, okay... You know, I'm going to do some cell shading, but I'm going to add some airbrush and such and such. And that's something I've been doing a little bit more of recently is just trying to, you know, add some soft lighting, add some airbrush, kind of get get the stuff to look a little bit cleaner or, you know, and a little bit more artistic at the same time. Not being confined by just being like, oh, yeah, we're just going to do cell shades. Normally, I do like to throw a multiply layer on top. Now I'm getting technical and talking about layers, but I like to throw a multiply layer on top and I like to do some kind of cool lighting and cool colouring and stuff and, and shadow stuff out, you know, with a colour that's not too dark and it adds a lot of contrast to the image. Now, looking back on this process, I've just realised I completely changed the direction that the kind of the, the headband kind of like end trails were going in. Um, and it is what it is, the straps, I guess. It is what it is. Um, I don't mind. It's just interesting to see it kind of going back through it and be like, oh, I changed that. Because normally when you watch the Procreate kind of like playback, it's so fast that you don't really notice stuff like that. Um, but it's interesting to see it. But yeah, so I'm still kind of in the line art stage and I kind of enjoy this stage and I kind of like the image to see. I, I like to see the image in its black line form and it's probably my favourite version of the image. I know it's weird, but there's just something about it, the potential of what it could be, you know, even though you end up going in, you know, you end up going and colouring it in the end. Um, well, I guess I didn't change where the headbands, I mean, the headband straps were going. I guess I still kind of filled in that same area. But you end up kind of like, color in it and everything but you kind of miss that stage of when it was just lines and it was clean you know and a lot of people say they missed the sketch stage and that used to be the case for me but now i sketch so loose that it's not even a it's not even a thing like i don't miss it because it's not even serious like as you can see with this image it was deadly it was just really quick i'm just deciding making decisions on what it is that i'm drawing i wasn't that bothered about any of that stuff like um any of the the stuff about making the sketch look clean i was more bothered about okay this is how we're going to do the image plotting i was plotting my image so my image could be better and that to me is what i kind of use sketching for unless i'm doing it in a sketchbook normally when i'm doing sketches i really do it quite loosely 
so I can get my ideas down, so I can plot what it is that I'm actually doing. Because I need to know where I'm going if I'm going to do lines and stuff. Plus, I really am against taking too long on my own process because I am a busy man. I don't do art full time. So I have to kind of like use my time wisely. So if it comes to kind of making a drawing really, really sharp and really, really clean versus it just being, you know, reasonably clean, I'll go with reasonably clean all the time. Um, I am a proponent of quality, but sometimes to me, all of that over the top stuff doesn't mean anything. And doing an over the top drawing, over, an over the top drawing, just to redo that drawing in line form doesn't make any sense to me. I'm not a comic book artist. Um, I'm not doing these as a comic book artist. I'm doing these as a guy who has to do the entire process himself. And that's where I'm kind of, that's why where I draw the line on trying to make things super, super clean. So as you can see, I did my flats. I flattered out the, the outfit. I flattered out the skin and the hair. Now I'm just going in and I'm, I'm trying to figure out a little bit of shading. And it's funny because I haven't even done his belt section. I haven't even flattered that out. I put the colours in for that. That's because at this time, I didn't even know what colour I was going to use. I was, I was like, I don't want to use gold because I use gold for his trousers. So I was kind of like in a weird place. I ended up settling for blue, which is cool. Um, you know, I, I ended up liking it in the end. So obviously I didn't speak on this, but I just realised I did the hair shading. And I really did like the hair shading on this. Now, it's interesting because I do not have a version of this piece um, before I actually did all the dynamic lighting and stuff. So what I'm going to do is go and make a process snapshot of it before I did that stuff. Because all I've got is the flat colours. I want, I want a snapshot of it before I added all the flame lighting. And you'll see that flame lighting stuff happen in a minute. But... It was interesting. I, I I used a lot of little procreate tricks on this. You know, it's interesting. After years of using Photoshop, I know all the tricks already. So it's just about figuring out how to use those tricks in Procreate in a different way. Because Procreate is a very raw program. Program. It's like it gives you basic tools and it's your job to use those basic tools to create the ends that you want to create. I've seen some people create incredible work in Procreate. But for me, I just find it to be quite slow for actual painting. Um, for drawing and all that kind of stuff, it's fabulous. It can be, it could be probably a number one drawing tool. If I spent more time just drawing, you know, just trying to get a good drawing drawn to colour in, probably would be perfect for me. But I, I kind of like to do more cell shading stuff in it. I like to do more stuff that's more geared towards character design. I do like to sketch in it, but I don't like to kind of like do paintings and that painting is something that i enjoy more than most other stuff i enjoy making taking colors and doing little renderings and stuff like that so i haven't really enjoyed procreate the same way a lot of people may have a lot of people use it for really clean lines as well because it has this function called the streamline um but anyway that's just besides the point you've seen it me go in now and start doing my dynamic lighting start adding my flames um adding little reflections and stuff in the armor but overall the piece comes together interestingly and i used an overlay layer to get the orange to get that kind of orange tint but i enjoyed the way it looked in the end i am quite proud of it i'm not trying to say it's one of my best pieces but i'm just proud of it i just enjoyed it you know i, I appreciate my own artwork i appreciate my own development and i think that's what every artist should do and try to do that's something that a lot of artists should try to strive for but anyway guys that's pretty much the end of this piece my instagram and other social medias will be in the description please like and subscribe share if you want to it helps me get off the ground and i'll see you guys in the next one peace